Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Todd Bertrand here at Colts Camp. Last day, last behind the scenes episode Woo! for uh, 20, 2018 uh, training camp with the Colts. And so we've gone, we've covered a lot of topics. We've covered uh, things behind, inside the event center. We've covered yesterday grass, public safety, our volunteers. And today I want to round this whole episode out, this whole series uh, with one special guy uh, who has yet to be on this these segments and that's none other than Mayor Cook. Hi, Mayor. Uh, hi. So, <laughs> Mayor, uh, you and I work very closely together. <laughs> Uh, every day we're in constant contact and I've been with you since uh, really 2008 but in this role since 2011. I've worked for this wow. community since 1996. Long, much longer than me. Much longer than you and I've seen a lot of change but tell me and tell everybody there on Facebook. <laughs> here we are, we're standing in a spot that six years ago were corn and bean fields. That's what they were used for and now six years later we've got the Indianapolis Colts, the Baltimore Ravens and We've probably had nearly over 30,000 people come through this, this campus. Tell us, tell, our, tell everybody on Facebook, what, what are your thoughts on it as it relates to this? You know, I, I, when I stop and I look around, I just, I get overwhelmed. I think about, you know, 10 years ago, we were all excited because we were turning from a town to a city, and then it's like, well, what next? And, uh, well, this became our our dream and it's become uh, a landmark really all across the country and uh, that was our goal but we really didn't think about hey could we really have somebody like the Indianapolis Colts out here yeah. uh, I tell you our people Todd William uh, our communications people uh, Angie Smitherman and all of our staff every single department from IT to, 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 to everything. Finance. Finance. <laughs> oh, we couldn't do this if we didn't have any money. Thank you, finance. But hey, our cops, our fire guys, they're all out here. I tell you, I get to speak with uh, Chris Ballard and um, Pete Ward nearly every day we're out here. And I just keep asking them, okay, well, what do we need to do? How's it going? And they're just so, They're just over the top. So, Mayor, talk a little bit about something that's really has captured my mind, and I, I just can't, I, it's not lost on me. Every day we come out here and we see the volunteerism. <laughs> the volunteerism, the communal aspect, and the pride. And I, I've been, with, again, with this community for quite some time, lived in this part of the county my entire life, and I don't know that there's ever been a point in Westfield's history, recent history for sure, where the communal spirit. Is, is so high. What have you inter what have you been able to interact with, and what have, what feedback have you got from just citizens of how proud they are of Westfield? Because ten years ago we were really nothing. Uh, it, was, it was a great community. It was 31, 32, and home to the large, world's largest dairy, dairy queen, so to speak. Pickett's cafeteria. In Pickett's cafeteria, yeah. but but now a whole new level of pride. What have you been hearing from, from well, people as you move you know, about the city? If, one of our charges years ago was to create that sense of community, and. I think this has totally proven our citizens have arrived at just that. Because I tell you, I had my doubts that we could actually get 200 volunteers for this entire three-week period, and to have I think three no-shows due to due to illness, which is unheard of in the in the sports production world. When I even hear about the the 2012 Super Bowl, so Todd. I think as a community and a spirit, our people are are proud of Westfield. Um, I hear it from visitors. I hear about the smiles, the helpfulness. Uh, yeah, it's a success. So yeah, without question, Grand Park was certainly a, a political uh, punching bag and still is in some, on, on some occasions. But I think with no, no doubt with strong leadership and strong vision, so a supportive city council and certainly a supportive community uh, that there's no way this could come to fruition without with all those things coming together and so as we round out this 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 first year first of the remaining ten so we have nine years left to go and how we're going to make this better year over year uh, we don't have enough time on this camera uh, Vicki's saying no you need to cut it short 
uh, to explain, but that we carry the spirit forward into into the, the rest of our future, west rest of Westfield's future, the uh, the other projects we have coming about, and uh, you know this is something we all uh, should be very proud of, and I know we are. And Mayor, thanks for joining this hey. last segment of behind the scenes. We'll probably continue to do things uh, throughout on other things, non non uh, football camp. But uh, thanks again. Thanks for your trust. Well, you know, I don't mean to. Uh concern you or our people, but I've got a few other ideas we've just begun, folks. <laughs> thanks, Todd. For thank you. Thing. Thank you. See you all. See you soon. Get out here today. Last day. Nice day. And thank you, Sandy Malot Wood. We're proud of this city, thank too. Thank you. And right there's her house, by the way. Just full disclosure. That's Sandy's hay house. Hay wagons, bus, lawn chairs. We're waving at They've Sandy's They've been great house. neighbors. Craig and Sandy Woods, thank you all. See you. Get out here. Click your ticket. Colts Camp, last day. <laughs>